Hello everyone and welcome to Retro Dad and Modern Lad, the YouTube channel and soon to be a website and the top 3 unreleased, completed and playable Dreamcast games at number 3. Millennium Racer Y2K Fighters Millennium Racer is a racing game similar in nature to Wipeout. The game was released for PC in 1999 and a full version of the game was found on a Dreamcast developer's kit. What was so unusual about this is that the game was never publicly announced, shown off or featured in magazines, yet was in a completed state and was never released. In 2017, with the help of members from the Dreamcast community, it was made available for download. The game features an arcade mode, Grand Prix mode, Ghost Race, Training, 2 player mode and options. With various different bike stats to choose from and being able to choose the colour of both your bike and rider. These can be mixed and matched together depending on your own preferred playing style and aesthetics. Graphically the game is hardly pushing the Dreamcast hardware to the limits, but it does suit the type of game and style of the game. And overall looks good. There are 7 tracks available at the start and 4 unlockable bringing the total number of tracks to 11. With each track having its own theme and different design. The tracks are well designed and the bikes handle really well. What sets the game apart from most similar games is the jump mechanic, which can be used to access different pathways and shortcuts. There are two views, both first person and third person, and both work well. The player has access to a boost meter, and there are two types of rings which can be accessed and gone through, which either give instant boost or fill your boost meter. At the start of each track, a flyby will be shown off the track and can be skipped or watched. The game also has great in-game music, so let's pump up the volume and watch some gameplay.
come in at number two on with its own introduction. Presented by Sega. Developed by AM2. Propeller Arena! Aviation Battle Championship. The game was completed by Sega and due to ship out in late 2001. The game was delayed after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. And shortly after the Dreamcast was discontinued so the game never seen the release date. The game is an arcade like game and was due to have a big online presence. Taking advantage of the Dreamcast modem and also having voice chat. Gameplay modes available include championship, quick battle, training, network online and options. The game also supported up to 4 players on the one console and 8 arenas with different themes. Battles consisted of shooting down other planes and also performing tricks to avoid planes and put yourself in the right position. With a mixture of great gameplay, fantastic graphics and a sprinkle of Sega magic, this game is absolutely brilliant and highly recommended. So let's check out some gameplay.
Number one on the list, Half-Life. If there was two things the Dreamcast took to the next level, it was home computer online play and the ability to bring high-end PC games and arcade games to the home without major compromises. Half-Life coming to the Dreamcast ticked both of them boxes with a major one-player campaign which was to be followed by a second game which was to feature multiplayer online. The game was cancelled with only weeks left till its release date, which was slightly surprising even though the Dreamcast had been announced to be discontinued, the fact that the game was finished and was highly sought after. Cheats and level selects in the game can be selected from three categories of words which make up phrases. The game was never officially released but later was released online to be downloaded. There is two versions you can download, the original and another version which has slightly quicker load times called Half-Life Gold. The Dreamcast version also featured an exclusive campaign called Blue Shift. But eagerly anticipating Half-Life coming out on the Dreamcast and was devastated when it got cancelled. But it doesn't disappoint with fantastic graphics and story. So let's check out some gameplay footage. These three games are all brilliant and highly recommended. Other games which also got fully released include PBA Bowling and the Flintstones, although they're not of as good quality. You can either download these games and burn them for free, or you can get reproduction copies which come with a front and back cover, box and manual, as well as artwork on the CD. You've been listening to Retro Dad and Modern Lad, the YouTube channel and soon to be a website. If you like this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.